Hey everyone, this is Dr. Sushmita. Today we will discuss the role of MTA in endodontics. But before starting the video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get new video updates. MTA nowadays also comes in a single use treatment kit like Walden Endolife MTA, which is a hydrophilic and biocompatible mineral trioxide aggregate cement that is capable of stimulating healing and osteogenesis. Mineral trioxide aggregate is composed of Portland cement and bismuth oxide in 4 is to 1 ratio. Bismuth oxide is added for radio opacity. So it consists of a powder of fine trioxides such as tricalcium oxide, silicate oxide and bismuth oxide and other hydrophilic particles like tricalcium silicate and tricalcium aluminate. Grey MTA and White MTA Walden Endolife MTA is a white MTA so it does not cause any discoloration which makes it perfect for aesthetic purposes. MTA is used for perforation repairs, paxification, as a root canal sealant, tooth fracture repair, regenerative procedures, apexogenesis, pulpotomies, and as a pulp capping material. Walden Endolife MTA is white in color, so it is perfect for aesthetic purposes. The setting time is around 15 minutes, which is way less than the typical grey MTA, which is around 2 to 4 hours. It has low compressive strength, low solubility, and high radio opacity than dentine. Its alkaline pH of 12.5 favors antibacterial effects, so heart tissue formation can be induced after applying the substance as an apical obturation material. Due to the presence of bismuth oxide, it is radio opaque, which makes it easy to visualize on the radiograph. It has the capacity to induce bone, dentine and cementum formation and regeneration of periapical tissues. As MTA expands after setting, it has a good margin and sealing property. It is antibacterial and antifungal. It is also biocompatible in nature. Powder water ratio should be 3 to 1. Mixing can be done on a paper pad or glass slab with a plastic or metal spatula to achieve a putty-like paste consistency. This mix should be covered with a moist cotton palette to prevent dehydration of the mix. The mix is then placed in the desired location and condensed lightly with a moistened cotton palette. MTA has a pH of 10.2 immediately after mixing. By the end of 3 hours, the pH increases to 12.5 similar to that of calcium hydroxide. Hence, mixing time should be less than 4 minutes. Here we are showing some MTA treated cases. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching.